it's time to accessorize Google Drive. I have three daughters who love to accessorize all of their toys. Recently, my six-year-old Ellie was playing with calico critters, and I watched her as she accessorized their house and playground and the nursery for her little uh, animal creatures. She loves it. You can do the same thing with Google Drive by utilizing add-ons to enhance your use of Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, and Forms. Hi, my name is John. I help teachers use technology to design better lessons and organize their classroom. Let's accessorize Google Docs with some add-ons. If you want to follow along, go ahead and open up a Google Doc. We will talk about um, forms and slides as well, but we're going to start with Google Docs. And uh, to begin, you're just going to look up at the top of your screen, and that's where you're going to see this add-on menu. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to begin adding some of these utilities in to enhance what you can do natively with Google Docs. Now, these are some wonderful productivity tools. Uh, I use them myself. I use them with students. Um, and I'll highlight some of my favorites uh, with you along the way. We're going to go to add-ons, and the first thing you're going to do is go to get add-ons and this will take you to the Google Workspace Marketplace, the home for all of these utilities. You can scroll through there. There are hundreds if not thousands of different options um, and typically what happens is I'll be using Google Docs and I'll have some kind of a frustration. It's like ah, oh, I really wish that Google Docs had an easier way to highlight information as you were reading a document. Something like that and then I'll look in the workspace marketplace for a solution. That's typically how it works for me. Now I wanna highlight one that I use uh, very frequently. It's called Highlight Tool. Very simple uh, add-on. Uh, you open it up and it'll show you screenshots, perhaps a video that will demo the add-on. One thing that I do pay attention to is the number of installations and the star rating. This will give you a bit of a clue as to how popular this is, if people are having success with it, if they like it, um, based on those two pieces of information. This one has 10 million installs, that's a lot, and uh, a three and a half, 3.6 star rating, which is very, very good. Um, you can scroll through and find out more information about it. Um, I've already got this one installed, but you go ahead and click on the install button. It'll prompt you to confirm your Google account um, and show you the permissions that are required for this add-on to use. One quick note um, to be aware of, if you are using your school's Google Workspace account, you may not be able to add these add-ons until your IT admin enables or approves them. You can just try, it'll either work or it won't. If it does not work, you'll need to reach out to your IT admin and have them whitelist or approve this application before you can use it. You can always switch over to a personal Gmail account to test an add-on to see if it's something that will actually be useful. I'm actually using my personal Gmail account right now. If it's good, then you can reach out to your IT admin and ask them to whitelist it. Now let's go ahead and check out this, uh, this add-on. Um, I've already got this one installed, so we're going to go to the add-on menu, and that's where you'll see Highlight Tool is now listed. Most of them will uh, have a Start, Configure, Enable button. I'm going to go ahead and start, and they typically will open up on the side of the screen in the little sidebar, and that's where you'll interact with the add-on. This add-on is installed for my account, so any Google document that I open from this point forward, I will be able to utilize this particular add-on. Now, if you're a teacher and you want your students to use this add-on, they would have to install it as well. Just because you install it, you're not installing it into this Google document, you're just installing it for your account. So every person has to add uh, the add-on on. Um, this works essentially the same way for all of the other Google products. Uh, let me jump over to Google Slides, for example. Uh, same thing, we've got our add-on menu at the top of the screen, and then we'll go to Get Add-ons. Now this time it's going to see different add-ons because these are designed to work with Google Slides. Google Forms is a little bit different. You have to go to the snowman, top right corner. Uh, you'll scroll down to the little puzzle piece, and that'll show you the add-ons available for Google Forms. Google Sheets um, works the same way. You'll see the add-on menu uh, listed there. Now, the add-ons are unique to Docs, Slide, Sheets, Forms, but if you want to kind of get a big picture, just like what's available, go ahead and just 
open up the Google Workspace Marketplace. Uh, you just Google it or type that URL in, and this will allow you to look at all of the add-ons for all the products in one central location. They do have some nice filters where you can see, you know, oh, I'm interested in creative uh, tools or task management, or I really want to look at add-ons for, you know, Google Docs, and it'll show you those. So you can start there, find the list, and then install them and uh, check them out and practice using them. Now, there are so many wonderful add-ons that you can use personally and in the classroom. I'm going to link to a playlist of videos that I've created highlighting some of my favorites. So my favorite add-ons for Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. These are some of the best tools out there that'll help you organize your classroom and design better lessons.